In this PITV tutorial, I will show you how to create a vertical video clip that has a duplicate stretched and blurred as a background. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in PITV. A link to my beginner's tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Select new and then drag your video clip into the media library. One of the problems uh, that you'll find is that this clip is 1080 by 1920 and I won't be able to do anything until I change the settings. So just select the project setting tab and as you can see here it's the wrong way around so next to presets select the little button and select the video that nearly matches your video so i'm going to go hd 1080p 30 and i'm going to change the frame rate to match the frame rate of the video this is this little tab here and then select OK. Now if you, sorry, first of all, add another layer. So select add layer. So this gives you two tracks. Bring your clip into layer one or track one. And then select your track. And this will bring this transformation box up here. Now using the left and right hand side, just hold down your left mouse button and drag your clip over so that it fills the screen. Now you can go to the effects library in the old versions, but you can also add an effect here so it saves you having to drag it down. So just select add effect and rather than looking through loads of video or loads of effects I'm going to just type in the word blur B L U R now the best one I find in quite a few of the video editors I use is actually I I R blur looks like a little L but that's a capital I so it's I I R blur select this one and next to the description there's a little arrow select this and you'll get this this will drop down and then just drag the amount up to blur the video till you're happy with it so that will do drag your video into track zero or layer zero and you'll automatically get a vertical clip over a stretch and blurred clip. If you want to adjust the size, select the track. Now just remember these figures on X and Y because you may want to adjust them. So to increase the size, you have to pick a corner. So if I select this corner and just drag it out, it will increase the size of the video now I can center it by selecting the middle of this box here and that it's not looking too bad if at any point you want to change something you can use control followed by Z so I'm going to do this twice and that brings me back to the original setting so Again, I'm just going to drag this corner out and select the middle box here. And I think that looks pretty good to me. That's all there is to it, really. I, I will render this, so this is the video that you saw at the beginning of this uh, tutorial, but I won't go into the rendering. Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.